Hi kids! We learned comparing numbers with the digit comparing method in our last lesson. Today, we will learn another method for comparing numbers. Place value chart method. So let's get started. We have two numbers, 456 and 7,890. We will learn comparing numbers using the place value chart. Here is our place value chart. Now, let's put the numbers we have in this place value chart, writing each digit under its place in the place value chart. Now, in the place value chart, you start at left and look for the first place where the digits are different to compare the numbers. If we start at left, there is no digit in 456 at thousands place, and there is seven at thousands place in 7,890. So, we have bigger number first in 7,890 if we start comparing digits from left. So, this number is bigger. Let's take another example. Here again, we have two numbers. Let's compare the numbers here. Is our place value chart. Now, let's put the numbers we have in the place value chart. Writing each digit under its place in the place value chart. We get it like this. Now, in the place value chart, you start at left and look for the first place where the digits are different to compare the numbers. If we start at left, there are 6 and 1 at hundreds place in both the numbers. 6 is bigger than 1, so 678,900 is bigger than 100,000. Now, let's take another example. Here again, we have two numbers. Let's compare the numbers. First of all, write the numbers in the place value chart by writing each digit under its place in place value chart. Now, in the place value chart, we start at left and look for the first place where the digits are different to compare the numbers. If we start at left, we have different digits in numbers at a hundred thousands place. There are four and six at hundred thousands place. Six is bigger than four. So, the number which is having six is bigger number. Now, let's take another example. Here, we have not two, but five numbers, and we have to arrange these numbers in decreasing order. That is, from biggest to smallest. Now, let's see how we compare the numbers using the place value chart. Here is our place value chart. First of all, write all the numbers in the place value chart. Remember to write each digit under its place value. Now, in the place value chart, you start at left and look for the first place where the digits are different to compare the numbers. If we start at left, we have only one number in which have a digit at millions place. So that number is the biggest number. Now, we have only one number in which we have a digit at hundreds place. So, it's the second biggest number. Now we have three numbers, which have their leftmost digits at ten thousands place. And the digits are six, six, and eight. And the number which is having biggest number, that is, eight, is the third greatest number. Now, we have two numbers left. 
Now in these two numbers, again, we have to start at left and look for the place where the digits are different to compare the numbers. Both the numbers have same digits at ten thousands place, plus digits at thousands place, same digits at hundreds place. Digits at tens place are different. This number has bigger digit, so this number is fourth bigger number. And the only number left is the smallest number. So, we have so easily arranged our numbers in decreasing order. Using the place value chart. Now, let's take one more example. Again, we have five numbers, and we have to arrange them in increasing order, that is, from smallest to biggest. First of all, write all the numbers in the place value chart. Now we want to arrange the numbers in the increasing order, so want the smallest number first. In the place value chart, we start at left and look for the first place where the digits are different to compare the numbers. And if we start at left, there is only one number which has a digit at millions place. So it's the biggest number. Mark it five. Means it's the biggest number and place it in the last. Now there is only one number that has a digit at a hundred thousands place. So it's the second biggest number. Mark it four and place it at the second last position in our increasing order list. Now we have two numbers that have their left most digits at ten thousands place and they are eight and seven, where eight is bigger than seven. So the number which is having eight is the third biggest number. Mark it number three. And this number will be at number two. Now, only one number is left, which is smallest number. Mark it one. So we have ordered our numbers. We have numbered our numbers from one to five, which are smallest to biggest. So kids, we have learned ordering and comparing our numbers using the place value chart. So kids, now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.